John Brown, Cole Beasley, maybe the Bills go out and if they're lucky, they can land one of those guys because there's a lot of teams out there that needed a receiver. So as a Bills fan, you're probably satisfied if they get one of those guys. Well, it turns out they get two of them. They get Beasley and they get Brown, two relative. I mean, the guys got paid, but they're also relatively team-friendly contracts as well. And these are two guys that have done things in the league. They come with a track record. And their opportunity here in Buffalo might be better than anything else they've had in their career. What's your take on these two guys and what they bring to the team? Yeah, I mean, speed and separation, guys. And so I think one thing you can probably think about a quarterback like Josh Allen and and not necessarily the most consistent with his ball placement, there's going to be some variance there. Everyone kind of gravitates towards, oh, we need these towering receivers that can make plays on the ball and really extend the catch radius. Well, that doesn't always work, right? I mean, we saw that with Andre Holmes and Kelvin Benjamin. Think about what Cam Newton has, right? He had Devin Funches and Greg Olson and um, and Kelvin Benjamin as well, and they've sh- they've completely revitalized that that room to DJ Moore and Torrey Smith and Curtis Samuel and and Jarris Wright, right? So you can yeah. see the real the real value when you have a quarterback that's not always going to be pinpoint with his accuracy as having guys that get open and they extend throwing windows because they create space. And so ball skills are always going to be really important, but more so than a guy with long arms and size and the ability to jump is a guy that can get clean and get open. And so what Buffalo has done in terms of adding John Brown, one of the elite deep threats in the game, a guy that's going to be able to take the top off of a defense and really uh, complement what Josh arm, Josh Allen offers in terms of arm talent. That's really going to be something very helpful. And now you can put him and foster on the field at the same time and, and good luck because you're probably, you're not going to be able to take away both. Right. So uh, that's really going to cause some spacing issues. And and because of those spacing issues, not only do you extend the defense vertically, but it opens up things underneath. Right. So you have a guy like Cole Beasley, who's a very savvy route runner that that really thrives short uh, attacking the short to intermediate areas of the field. And so, hey, you go touchdown to check down with your progressions all of a sudden and your check down's Cole Beasley. Who's going to be open? He's going to, he's going to run away from these slot corners and linebackers that are going to try to cover him. Now you also have an athletic tight end and Tyler Croft, and hopefully they get even more dynamic at tight end. But I think that this whole thing, having these guys with speed, is going to really allow Buffalo to be a more complete passing offense last year. I mean, the depth of target for at, at Josh Allen was really, really kind of ridiculous in terms of how often it was down the field. It's like, there's other portions of this field that you need to attack to to make you more effective down the field. And so I think all of this is an effort to continue to make sure that the vertical passing game is part of what, what happens with the offense, but also gives you reliability in other areas of the field to be a very complete passing offense. And now the weapons are there to, to get that done. Cole Beasley, during his introductory press conference on Thursday, said that he also had offers on the table from New England and Dallas and ultimately chose Buffalo because of opportunity. Now, don't get me wrong. I'm not foolish. I'm sure Buffalo probably offered the most money. In fact, I'd be willing to bet on that. But I do also believe him that he's being sincere and authentic, where maybe Buffalo does provide him that best opportunity to go out and have really big years and have more success than he's had at any point of his career. Do you believe him? Do you really think that he's in Buffalo because of opportunity just as much as money? Yeah, he talked about opportunity, I mean, three or four different times and how how it was really about him being coming more involved with the offense. And, and so that really mattered to him. And yeah, I mean, Dallas and New England, he said that he didn't say specifically, I, I pick Buffalo over those teams. He said the decision came down to right. those teams. And so, um, you know, I, maybe he's thinking long term, right? I mean, he signed a four year deal and maybe he can go play with Tom Brady for one year, but he's still got Julian Edelman there, right? Like he's not going to get those looks over Julian Edelman. And so he thinks to Buffalo, hey, I've got an opportunity to to kind of solidify somewhere. You know, he talked about being a suburbs guy that, you know, even when he was in Dallas, he lived in the suburbs with his wife and, you know, he didn't necessarily want to be in the city. And so just like from from not only the football side, but like just where he would fit well with his family and be not have an opportunity to be like that go to slot guy more so for a longer period of time in Buffalo and, and maybe not, you know, be able to look past just this year and and extend himself to a four-year span, he can get the most out of himself in Buffalo and really make more of a name for himself as a receiver. 